What is up? This is Joshua Casper, and welcome to another very quick Ableton tip. Um, the second episode that I put out was about saving presets, and I was talking really about saving default presets, and the user pointed out to me how to do that in a more efficient and effective way. So this is just uh, to show you. Um, before I saved a preset, I hit the save preset, and now it shows up here. But what I can do is just pull in my my uh, effects here, the reverb. I can change what I wanted to change, and if you remember in the last episode, uh, I just changed, I wanted to change the quality from uh, default from echo to high. And once I've changed that, and I've changed my dry wet, and you know, like I said before, the decay up to 60, and you know, the density down to 20, whatever kind of changes you always just kind of start at, you come over to the title here, this bar, right click and say, save as default preset. And it will give you a prompt and say, do you want to overwrite because you already have one? You say, yes, I want to. This is what I want every time I pull out here. So now this main bar, if I delete this, this right here will be my, what I wanted, my default. And now if I have some, a bunch of different ones, if I have one for hip hop and I have one for house, then I would use my save presets and I would name those reverb for hip-hop, reverb for house, and blah, 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 blah. But uh, big ups to the user who told me about that. I'm not going to say his name because it's rather inappropriate. But uh, thanks for, for pointing that out, and uh, I hope that helped. See you next time.